Dang, my hair is so much stress today. All right. Hey everyone, it's Charmaine, aka Joelle, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a video for you sponsored by Diva Hair Deals. They were so kind to send me their 100% natural and organic argon oil. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please click that subscribe button down below. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. So I have mentioned in a previous video that I love argon oil. I have just been trying to use up a lot of the other oils that I have, but I love it. I even used it when I had my relaxed hair before I even did my big job. It's not heavy. It's not super greasy. It keeps my hair super duper soft and it did the same exact things again on my natural hair. And so I've been wanting to get back into using it. I just have been trying to use up some other things and then wham bam, the universe heard my cries and Diva Hair Deals reached out to me and was like, hey, we have some argan oil we would love for you to review. So here I am, super excited. I was like, finally I have some like argan oil I can use. And honestly, just as before, I love argan oil. I Maybe I'm a little biased because I already know that I like argan oil, so I was super excited to try a brand that is 100% natural and organic. Doesn't have any extra things thrown into it. I have the link down below because it is actually on sale at this moment. It's usually about $40, but right now they're selling it for around $25.99. So let's talk a little bit about argan oil itself. It's an oil that's incredibly rich in vitamins A, E, and F, and also antioxidants. They call it liquid gold. A lot of women love using it for even flat ironing their hair. It's a great heat protectant, and it helps really combat frizz, even those who are natural and have curly hair. I use it, honestly, <laughs> my hair is gonna be fuzzy either way. I mean, let's just admit that. But I like it because, again, it's not heavy and it keeps my hair super soft and super moisturized. My routine for the last two weeks that I've been using this is, you know, I wet my hair, I use the argan oil, then I use my Camille Rose moisture butter on top and then finally top it off with the shea butter and then I use my dim and brush to comb it through my hair and oh my gosh, I was at work, <laughs> last week I was at work and my sister mentioned to me, she was like, wow your hair is like really, it doesn't look as fluffy, it looks more plushy, plush, so, which is exactly what I had thought. I was like, um, I did that exact routine today, and I don't, I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but to me, it doesn't look just fluffy, it looks plush, like it looks really, like, dense, almost, and my hair has stayed moisturized literally hours hours longer throughout the day. It's insane and it just confirmed my belief in argan oil. It doesn't tend to be one of the cheapest oils which is probably why a lot of people don't continuously use it but honestly it does so much for my hair. It, 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 it'll have to just be a staple in my hair, root, hair routine. It has proven itself over and over and over again. And the argan oil that they sent me is 100% certified USDA organic. So for those of you who are not just natural but are like natural natural, I highly recommend this for you. It's a multi-purpose moisturizer so you can use it for your face, your skin, hair, and your nails. So I've actually been using it at night as a face moisturizer. Because of that vitamin E and all the antioxidants that are in this argan oil, it actually is described to help promote healing acne. And also you can use it for anti-aging, anti-wrinkle benefits. So I've actually just been using just one, or two, one to two drops. You don't need very much at all. I put one to two drops in the palm of my hand and then I dab it all over my face and just pat it into my skin. It leaves my skin looking super glowy, super moisturized. And again, if you only use one or two drops, it's not heavy at all whatsoever. I haven't broken out one bit since using it, which I was shocked. But you guys know I'm like super acne prone. Hi. So, so far it has been a positive experience, which is something that I was already expecting. I love argan oil and now I finally have it back in my life. My hair is, has, never been happier. I also use it, um, I put some on my hands and I'll rub it over the ends of my hair before I put my silk bonnet on at night and I notice that in the mornings, <laughs> feel free to roast me in the comments, I would just put the bonnet on at night. I never really put anything on my hair. I'm still trying to figure out a night routine. So the only step that I have in a night routine um, right now is using the argon oil on the ends of my hair. So I oil the ends of my hair and I put my bonnet on. And I have noticed that, again, my hair is super soft 
in the morning. It's much more pliable. It's not as dry and matted and knotted. Oh cool, and it also says that it is virgin cold pressed, which is usually how I would buy my coconut oil as well. I haven't tried it on my nails. I know that sometimes I do get pretty dry cuticles, but what I have done, and I'll actually show you, is I will mix it in with my, my body lotion, actually. So I'll take a squirt of my body lotion, and then I'll take about, you know, one, two, three drops of the argan oil, just mix it up in my hands, and rub it all over my body. And I've been doing that for probably about three days now, Lord have mercy. My skin has felt so soft, so soft, and I, I don't skip out on lotion. I put lotion on every day, multiple times a day, especially on my hands. Anytime I wash my hands, I always, always put lotion on. My hands stay so moisturized, and they're not greasy. Again, you don't need 50 drops of it to, to get the benefit. That's usually how it is with most oils. What's nice is you can use one or two drops, and it's still not greasy. It's not Greasy. I, don't even get me started on grapeseed oil. I know like people literally love that stuff and like will go on rants about it. I can't stand it. It's too greasy for me. So argon oil is at the top of my list. I don't like heavy oils. I just, I just don't. I don't like them. <sighs> Honestly, it's been a blessing in my routine. Uh, when I run out, argon oil is just, it, it has to stay. You, you, when you find something that works for you, when you find something that works for your hair, stick with it. They're, you know, they're, they're, it's fun to always review a gajillion gazillion things, but when your hair is telling you that it likes something, you know, stick with it. Don't torture your hair, okay? And right now, you know, argan oil and shea butter are those two things for me. I've mentioned it, I think I mentioned it in my wash day routine video. I'll link that down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and your experiences with argan oil. I know that I'm not the only one who enjoys argan oil, but I don't hear a whole lot of people talking about it shockingly. So if you have used it, I'd love to know your experiences or, you know, the pros and cons of argon oil in your routine. Alrighty, again, I will go ahead and put the link down for this argon oil in the description down below for you guys. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment, a thumbs up, and go ahead and click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.